Hey, this is Richard Chancy with Automate the Sale, and I wanted to show you a quick little uh, trick that I just learned in uh, using uh, text messages or SMS to update you. Uh, if you're in the process or, or in a long sales process, you know like I do that you're always finding ways to try to add value to people between the point of your first contact and when they um, purchase. And so there's a lot of different things that we can send them via email and those kind of things. But if we can figure out how to get on a, a relationship where we can text message, uh, the, the process becomes a lot more valuable. So usually what I'm doing is I'm trying to move eight or 10 people deep into my funnel at one time. And so what I tried to do was um, I used Fix Your Funnel in, uh, in conjunction with uh, Infusionsoft, and I still use that if I'm trying to set up automated text messages to my clients. But what I found is it makes a lot more sense for me to be alerted of something and then text message them directly. And so I'm gonna show you how I did that. Um, so I built a campaign out in Infusionsoft, which uh, we'll uh, go into that into some other videos about how to do that, which is not really what we're trying to learn here. But um, I set up a series of sequences of information that I wanted uh, to share with my client. And in this case, I'm actually trying to sell my clients on uh, why they should use Infusionsoft. So it's pretty interesting to be able to communicate to someone, hey, I'm trying to sell you and this is how I'm going to do it. And if I can sell you, then you buy this. Very ironic. Um, so uh, what happens is I send the email out and e each one of these emails has a video in it. And then I set up a... Um, uh, a goal so that if they click the link for the video, here's the video, this is the perfect customer lifecycle video in Infusionsoft, if they click that link, what happens after that is it notifies me, it sends an email, and here's what I did. I used the uh, send HTT post, or actually no, I, I had it send me an email, and so what I went in and to do is this will be, this uh, will default to email, and I went down to other, and I put in my email address. And now you wanna make sure it's a Gmail address. If you don't have one, you can set them up for free. And the reason is um, I'm using an API um, connection in IFTTT that I'm gonna show you in a minute, but you'll need um, a Gmail account to make this work. You can make that account forward to your other email address. Um, don't give it to anybody and you don't have to worry about replying to it. But what happens is it sends me this email and uh, with all of this information in it. And so I went ahead and put in, uh, in the body of the email, this is what action they took. They watched the PCL video. And then I put uh, the merge fields, I merged uh, the contacts information in here. Now you've got to be careful that you don't send this to the contact because this is not how you want to do it. So this is actually going to go from your logged in users um, profile to this email address, which is you. And that'll make more sense in a minute. But um, and then you put the appropriate information in there. I save the cell phone in, uh, in phone three usually. And what I want is I want this email to go to my inbox with all of this information in it. And then here's a little note. Are you starting to see how you know, your company could leverage a perfect customer life cycle? So I put all that in. It's triggered by them actually clicking the link in this email. It then sends an email to my Gmail account. Um, which I could show you, but it's just a basic email. It goes in that format. And then I went over here to uh, if this then that ifttt.com, which has got, um, it, it's basically uh, an API register where it can connect a lot of different software programs who have an API that are also web-based and make them talk to each other. The API is just basically a translator between those two. So I created a recipe. I've got eight of them in here for different things. But what I did, there's my Gmail account. So I created a recipe that says, if my Gmail account has the subject has SMS IFS contained in it, then I want it to send me a text message. And the text message has um, this information and it has the subject and then the body of it. So remember back uh, over here where I was, uh, I entered all that information into the email. That is where that information becomes critical because now um, I don't even have to check the email. Everything came right to my phone. So um, I go in there, I look at the person's contact information. Sometimes most of these people I would have in my contacts in my phone already. And basically what I do is I copy and paste uh, this message 
this message right here into a text message and send it to the client, oftentimes while they're still watching the video, which kind of puts the wow factor on um, uh, the interaction so that you can show them just how much detail that you can have on follow-up. And this happens instantaneously. If they click, click that link within 15 or 20 seconds, you're going to have that text to your inbox. I uh, hope you find that helpful. Have a great day.